Hi, my name is Chen Wei Chen. Uh, welcome to China Studio. I would love to thank to our um, sponsor for this video, Dasie, um, that they sent this uh, few perfume to me that they really similar to um, another brand. Um, this one is called Aquatic Line and it smells like Armani and I would highly recommend this. But also, you know, the price is completely much cheaper and I prefer to have something that I can afford and also have the same quality and same smell as the Armani perfume. Oh, it feels good. Out of these four options, this is my second favorite. Embry Vetiver. The reason I like it because it's very similar to the one that I have here. I know um, one of the reasons I like this smell and this perfume because they, if you wear the white t-shirt and when you uh, spray on you, they, they won't have the yellow or redness on your shirt. My name is Chen Wei Chen. Welcome to Chen Studio. Uh, out of request, I have been asked to do a how to do a ballet hair and today I'm going to show you step by step to do a ballet hair and especially now it's during the nutcracker season so things that you need for a ballet hair a brush wax hair gel hairspray and hair dryer once you have this, you, I'm guarantee you that uh, follow with these steps that you your hair is gonna look nice and good. So my hair itself is very soft, so it's very hard to stay up sometimes, you know, with the value, value that you wanna have, volume. Um, so this morning I already put some hair wax in my hair already, so I'm not gonna do it again, but I, use, I usually will do my hair after the morning routine that I have. So you just wet your hair first, so that with the water and the wax, it's going to go through your whole, your whole hair, your, all your hair. <laughs> and yeah, let's start with that. So I wet my hair a little bit, a little bit. And most of the time, I will wet my hair first before my makeup so that my hair can all stay back they are going in the same direction. Oh, it's it's Monday and then I'm gonna have a bunny here walking around. Okay, once I wet my hair, okay, not too wet. I mean, it's okay to be more wet when I'm doing the makeup. So by the time when I finish my makeup, it will be just fine. And after this, I will brush my hair to the direction I want and I will start to dry my hair. Oh, in a way that to brush my hair the way that I want it instead of like going everywhere. And also one of the reasons I use the brush because I wanted to do like a, do a curve once I dry the, the hair, it will stay that way, okay? So you don't wanna, uh, bra uh, you don't wanna like dry it with straight, straight, uh, like uh, you know, straight. You know what? I mean. And also, a lot of time when we are like brushing too much, it's gonna stay flat. And the reason I'm doing curve because I want the lower part of my front hair to have a volume here. That's why I'm like doing the curve here. And for the people who has a red, uh, like very soft hair, before it completely dry, I will already use some gel, and then to um, to dry my hair again, just some decent amount, so that my hair could stay the shape that I want. 
and also with the side hair you don't want it to go out so that's why I keep like brushing in so that way your hair has a um, it just looks cleaner I in like since when I was in since I was performing in China I always have a problem to hold my hair every time when I dance, my hair just go everywhere. It's hard to stay. Or that is very, very flat and doesn't move and it doesn't have the style of it. So I finally find a way that it's good for my hair. So with some gel and water and um, the hair dryer, it really helps a lot. And I've been doing this way for like more than five years. And do you know, there's another trick that I always use is the hair dryer from where they suck the air. It's very good place to style your hair. So if you only uh, blow your hair dry, it's harder to stay. But if you use this part to, to, close, to get close to where it is, it just it stays much better and faster. Like my hair is getting higher and higher. One of the reasons I like my hair to stay high first because once I put gel and hairspray with the weight and the movement is gonna just come down. So I want it to stay high so that when it come down it still stay to the um the height that I want. And in the back of my hair I just use my hand to let it dry completely so that when it when I have hairspray on my hair, it stays better. Okay, so my hair is like Dragon Ball Z now. I need to, yeah, so now this is what my hair look like for now. And then the first thing I do from here is to brush the side first. See, it was like that, right? But the, the first thing I do, I usually start from the side because the hardest part, I, I'm gonna save it to the end. So once I brush the side, it looks, I want my side of the hair to look um, much, pretty much like as narrow as my face, so that way, it doesn't look like mushroom head or like bigger head. And I put a little hairspray. Oh, and this part is also interesting. You can brush this, this side and usually where I um, I am for is my eyes. My left pupil and I go straight up. And this will be the line to go left and right. So that way it's not too much left or too much right. And just right in my eyes, okay? And so from here, I will brush my hair to the side. And not only side, because a lot of mistakes that we do, we just brush down. And that way it's not as awake. You want to look that you, you are ready for the day. You are ready for the, all the challenge you're going to have on stage. And it looks just like better with, if you brush to the back. It take me 5 to 10 minutes if I do it very quick. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, not that long, but I actually spend more time than makeup sometimes and I spend more time um, than other people for my hair because I do think how important is the hair. 
because the shape of it and also you don't want it to distract your dance um, as well with some hairspray and brush back so one side is kind of ready and from far you, you doesn't want any ang angular things so you, you're gonna use the hairspray to fix it to a way that it's like smooth okay and now I do another side before I do the top you also spray some maybe the back too so that when you brush it will just stay where it is to the back okay now with the top it's the hardest and usually I will use some more wax if you think that your hair is harder to hold while you're dancing and with hairspray that I will uh, spray with the roots first because if you only spray the top the place that doesn't have the hairspray it's going to follow wherever it's heavy so it's gonna just comes down so once you blow your hair nice high and so you want to hairspray inside and roots also so that the whole hair is gonna stay the high you want it okay and once you spray it you you can use either the fingers or the brush to to make the shape you want it my hair is a little bit curly so it's a little bit different than before but I can still make the shape wherever I want it and at some time for for you know the hair is sticking out the best way to do it is I kind of stuck in because once you stuck in it's not only it's cleaner and also once you stuck in the curve it will still stay there so that way you will still have the, the volume It's, it's too high now, but I'm going to push down, don't worry. I just need to need a second to play with it. So the best um, Susie, our hairstylist, told me it's like a square. So now it's too high, but always higher is better than lower just for myself. And now when I brush it down, I can still have the value. Okay, my hair is not listening, but I can make it work. Good. So this is almost what I always do for the sh um, like a show that I don't have to slick my hair back. And you have some volume and and it will not move so much and make sure that you use you have enough hairspray in order to make it stay um, yeah this is my ballet hair I can show you some of the pictures and videos that I already done so this is my ballet hair hope you learned something hope this um, helpful if you have any question ask ask me or DM me on Instagram channel uh, share, subscribe, and like the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.